What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Stinker Squad. Just got out from eating IHOP. I know I keep the bangers trying to keep on coming. It's the holiday season. I'm trying to keep busy with all these videos all day for you guys, for your content. Um, and I'm not alone. I just finished eating at IHOP with a special guest of mine. You saw him on the Peace Mi the Peace Miss Lights video. There he is. What's oh up? my God. It's Francisco and Jose again. <laughs> Nah, we're about to go uh, to Starbucks, get some coffee. We just finished eating steak omelet and uh, the big steak omelet and some protein pancakes. I can't even move, bro. I feel pregnant. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to give birth. Uh, it's all right. I'm go hit the gym in a bit, too. But uh, right now, that's why I said me and Jack going to get some coffee. And then we're going to go walk it off somewhere because, God dang, I feel like a fat boy. I feel like I gained 200 pounds of of uh of bread up in me right <laughs> I, I, I i was whole hungry i scarfed them things like some tacos talk to rick how's he doing with his uh his father and all that stuff uh supposedly they said uh, his dad was still in the hospital but he's doing better well, that's good. I was praying for him, bro, because that shit sucks, dog. For sure. For sure, for sure. <clears throat> Where's that coffee spot? Open drink, cool. So we're going to go back that way? Yeah. Okay. I can't even move. I don't know. Uh, no. <laughs> I told you, I felt like I gave birth to... It's all that bread we ate, bro, but I haven't eaten in all fucking day. That's my first meal right there, bro. My first meal, bro. Like, I need shit all day, bro. I was hungry, that's all I had. That was my like actual meal all day. Remember that day when we went to fucking what we went to and you scarfed it down quick? Uh, yeah. Where'd we go? Oh, we went to Jack and Crack. You, you tore that up because you were hungry that day, bro. That was the only day I, had, I hadn't eaten. Yeah. You ate faster than me that day. I was like, damn, JR, you're like, I'm hungry, bro. I, I was like, the only fucking day. yeah, so that was me today. Today I was the hungry one because I've been a fucking, damn, I scarfed it. What did I have today? I scarfed that bitch. Quick. Oh, all I had was a fucking smoothie and literally a piece of toast. That was it. That's all I had today. Damn. Was a fucking smoothie and a piece of toast. Shit. Yeah, I don't even want to go to work till about five. You and me neither, bro. We got one more day tomorrow anyway. Well, I got one more day. I ain't out till Sunday, bro. I feel bad for you. That's for, they fucked you there, bro. You should have said some shit. I would have got Wednesday off. How are you? Well, cause you gotta pay off that Nintendo now. <laughs> Four hundred dollars for Nintendo? Ah, oh, yes. Sir. I'll pay for it, yeah. My little man had one, dude. He yeah. has one already, but it fucking broke. Oh, so that's why you bought him another? Yeah, that's why I bought him another one, cause it broke, and he's like, I want another one, and then like, they were like, well, you can send it in, and we can get it fixed. Fucking five hundred dollars. I was like, dude, I might as well just fucking buy him a new one. Yeah, there you go. What, is, what does he have already? I mean, he, he had a Nintendo Switch, but it broke. Like, oh, that's the only that's the system he had. Yeah. Oh well, no, he has a he has an Xbox. But oh, okay. He likes the Nintendo Switch because like when he's in the car or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, sits there and plays it, and then uh, I don't know. They said something happened, like the the system or something, like fried or something. I don't know. Oh, did you hear fucking Verizon this morning? They texted me this afternoon when I was going to work. They were like, uh, oh. um... We're just letting everybody know that um, first uh, subscribe to Verizon. We're gonna go ahead and uh, text everybody out who's who's uh, with Verizon that you're gonna probably experience technical difficulties with your phone in the next two to three weeks. Just to let you know, because they're all just to let you know because uh, we're uh, trying to find a better source for our our company. So what the fuck do you mean better source, bitches? I my phone better work these next two days. What the hell are you talking about? I was like, on. It's like hell no. <laughs> kind of shit is that, bro? It don't work. It gonna work. I just gotta go do the rest of my fucking Christmas shopping. Well, I would, I would say let's do it Sunday, but you gotta freaking. You're only off on Sunday, right? I'm only off on Sunday. Why well, get out early on Sunday? Yeah, six two thirty. If you want to do it on two thirty, do it Sunday. I'll get out. I'll soup you up. I'm gonna go finish it off. Well, no, 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 no. That's next week though, right? Yeah, next week, yeah. Yeah, next week. Yeah. 
Because I already got the whole family. Family wise, that day we went, I knocked that shit out the park, bro. We did. We I mean, even though I was frustrated as hell because all the stores didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, even though I was frustrated as hell because all the stores didn't have what I want and what I needed. But at the end of the day, finally, I, I the last ones I told you, the only three I needed was Eliza and Roxanne and everybody else. I told Eliza to order that shit online and she did it. We got it down. We knocked that out the way, bro. And then all of a sudden, I was just like, okay, cool. That's how it's knocked out. We got it done. And then all of a sudden, I was like, um, um and then all of a sudden, it's, uh, I said, okay, we got it out the way, that's great. But then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I had to get the one girl, that one girl for the Christmas Santa thing. Yeah. But uh, anyway, at the end of the day, she still, I, just, I still treat her with respect because she's an older lady. I'm, I, that's how we were raised. You know, our parents fucking tell us, if you don't like the person I still treat them nice and tell us to respect them. So that's what I'm, I'm doing. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I still, I was treating her with respect and I'm still gonna buy her a gift card. I'm, that's why I, why I like the person and I still gotta be nice, you know? So that's, that's what I did. And uh, at the end of the day, <laughs> I bought her her thing, right? And uh, so, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it is what it is. Yeah. That's it. I should've gotten the turning lane, didn't I? Fuck it up. You can stay here, because it's over there. Oh, okay. And, um, and that's it, bro. So, I mean, I ain't really got shopping nobody else. I'm straight up after that. So, that's why I said Sunday, if you want to go, I'll just call you and get up. I'll... I mean, when I get out to 30, I'll swoop by, I'll pick you up, and we'll go get something to eat, and then we'll just fucking get, the, you get what you need, the last of it, and get what I need, that's it. All I need to go is Ulta. <laughs> I'm yeah. done. So, never fails me then. So, why well, stop now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we net rumors, we've never had this coffee, bro. So it's about to be the first time to see how fucking good it is. Because everyone said it's better than Starbucks. We're about to find out today, shit. I've never had it. So I can, I've never, ever fucking had it. So I want to try this bitch and see how good it is. Because I, you, you told me they say it's the shit. Well, we about to find out, bro. Because I'm really about to get up in it. Bro, I'm telling you, the one you told me? Yes, yeah, sir. Cause, dude, every day dude, when you go to work, that's just like extra boost, let's go. that I was telling you about that I saw last night that shit was off the chain bro because it was it was about it was about okay because you know Billy the, the, the story about the real Billy the Kid how he uh, Pat Garrett killed him in New Mexico how the story says well this is supposed to be like way 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 past after uh, the New Mexico territory shit so they're saying that Pat Garrett supposedly had killed Billy the Kid a long time ago well in this movie they're supposed to say that Pat Garrett never killed Billy the Kid he let him go free. So Billy the Kid escaped New Mexico, came to a countryside in this little town, married, uh, remarried his wife, uh, new, his new wife, got her married to her. After that, he ended up having a son. Well, his wife, he lost to tuberculosis and she died of tuberculosis. Yeah. And his son, he got stuck raising his son. Well, this uh, sheriff bad guy, which is played by uh, Stephen Dorff, whatever his name is, yeah. um, Dorff was being all, Stephen Dorff was being all a dick like, like telling him, oh, fuck you, I know what I'm doing, and kills his brother-in-law? Yeah. Fuck, dude. But the kid, uh, Walter, who's played by Walter McCarty, the guy who says, well, his nickname, like he says, this fool fucking goes crazy. Two six-gun shooters and a fucking rifle, this fool goes off and starts, mm, man, like, he kicks, <laughs> he kills this guy, like, kills, oh, uh, they're like 10 guys, and he's one guy against 10 dudes. He takes them all out with two six-shooters and a fucking rifle, bro. Okay. Like, literally. I was like, it was badass. That was a badass movie. You gotta check it out though. It's on the fire stick, bro. I saw that shit, I was like, damn. I said, I haven't seen a good Western movie in a while, but that shit was, and the story, that had a good story to it, plot to it, the action, that shit was badass, man. I was like, fuck yeah. That made my night. I'm like, that made my night yesterday. <laughs> it's a good movie. After a hard workout, good movie, and kick back and have some food.
Yeah, that shit was badass, bro. That was a good movie. You check it out. And the guy who plays him is the guy from... Um, you, you, if you see him, you'll recognize him. I forgot his name, the actor, but he's a good actor. He's been in a lot of movies. Yeah. The only one I recognized was Steven Dorff. That was it. Because <laughs> when I heard his voice right away, I was like, hey, that's the guy from Blade. But he's he gained some weight in this movie. He's a little chunky. So he has a little pot belly. I was like, man, I remember when he was in Blade, he was like a little thin punk. <laughs> Another cheat day when we do, we need to go to Burger Boy, boy. I need to try it still. I haven't tried it yet. You haven't tried it? Nope. Dude. Rick and you all keep on telling me, bro, but I don't. I was like, I'll be like, yeah, 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 and I don't go. <laughs> yeah, 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 and I don't go. That's because I always eat clean, bro, and I don't try to eat healthy. Uh, I don't try to eat bad a lot, so when I do eat healthy, uh, do, do, do have a cheat day, it's like, okay, where am I going to go? <laughs> you know? I still eat, I'll eat healthy, but I'll still try to, like, not go too crazy when I eat cheap, you know? Oh, uh, dude, I can't believe it's Sunday. The week went by fast, bro. It was a bad week for me, but it went by fast. And then the loss of John, bro, that fucking shit hit me hard, bro. Like... It was sad because, like, it was Saturday. I, I went to bed Friday night, bro. I get up, and fucking his uh, wife calls me. And she goes, what's up? And I was like, what's up? She goes, John's gone. And I was like, where'd he go? She's like, no, John's gone. I was like, well, where'd, he, where'd, he, where'd he go? Austin, Arizona, Florida? I'm just like, what? And she's like, no, he'll say he's gone. And, like, she starts breaking out crying. And I'm like, fuck. What do you say to that shit, you know? So, I mean, I'm like, I'm sorry for your loss. And she's just like, no, it's cool. I understand. I'll say, I just want to, I think you should know you're one of his good friends. He always talked about you. He said you were, uh, you, you were a great guy and this, this, and that. And I was just like, I felt like shit, bro. Like, what do you say? You know, we can't explain words and shit like that. John, I love him a lot, bro, because it's like, that's my, that's my road. He's like, I consider him like you, but he's not as close. He wasn't as close as you and me were, or as long as... Or as long as friend, as he hasn't. I didn't know him as long as I, me and you know each other. You know what I'm saying? But he was a friend. I consider him a friend, like very close family. You know, because when I first started at HEB 41, when I first started there, there's no way I entered in there, is there? Oh, uh, yeah. Because when I first started at HEB 41, bro, he was the first one to ever introduce, uh, uh, show me about the business and it hooked me up and introduced me and all that shit. You know, so I didn't really can't say nothing bad about him, bro. And then we became, we grew a bond and became boys and shit, you know? And then he ended up, uh, you know, uh, I, I watched him grow as a person, you know? He got a, became manager and he became manager and then he uh, lost out that weight, joined the military and fucking had his first child and had his second child, dude. And that's, a, that's the most second, hardest part about it, bro. He had his second child, like not even too long ago, bro, and then he dies, you know what I'm saying? And that shit hit me hard, bro. Cause I How wake up. Away? Huh? They didn't. That's the thing. His wife didn't tell me. She wanted to get into details about it, like. And I mean, what do you say to that? Cause when his wife called me, I was just like, I told her, I was like, well, what happened? And she also said, I don't want to get into details about it, cause it's gonna bring it up, and I don't want to be personal about it. I just can't talk about. It. I can't. And I was just like, and I told her, I was like, Erica, you can't tell me nothing. And she's like, no. And she's like, I was like, okay. I was like, no problem. I was like, uh, my heart goes out to you. If you need anything, Erica, let me know. I got you. I got you. And she's just like, no, Jose, I understand. She's like, I was like, no, it's something to play with. John was family. I understand that shit. I respect that. I was like, let me know. And she's just like, no, Jose, no, it is what it is. And I was like, all right, cool, cool. But, dude, when she fucking bawled and started crying, I wanted to cry right there and fucking with her, dude. It was that. It was hard, bro. Really hard. Brian calls me crying. And he's like, bro, did you hear about John? I was like, yes, I heard, bro. And he starts crying. And he's like, it's hard, bro. It's hard. We just lost Javi Bear. And then now John. I was like, I know, I know, I know. I said, don't remind me of Javi Bear, I don't want to talk about it. So he's like, all right, cool. So it was just hard, bro. And then all of a sudden, and when, when you asked me to do that, that's like, okay, that's that's what, that's that's okay. I'll, I'll be glad to do that kind of my heart, bro. At the end of the day, that's that's hard for me. How can I how can I express words for that shit, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's why you saw in the video, I got emotional a little bit. I was trying to be serious. I didn't know what the hell to say. It was hard as hell. I was trying to be serious about it. And at the end, I left this picture so they could know who he was, but... It was hard, bro. It was really hard. I was, I, that was actually one of, the, one of the most hardest videos I ever had to do, bro. Like, literally.
What do you feel like hitting, Doug? I ain't getting shit, dog. I can't, I can't, I can't eat no more. I'm like, Bleh. you don't want coffee? No, uh -huh. I can't eat. They have lemonade too, bro. I want other coffee. I want some cold, though. Cold coffee. It smells good. It smells good. I know, dude. I'm seeing my nose like that. All right, let, here, you can film it. I don't know the place, but you, you give them a cloud. Give them a cloud. Let them know what's up. What this place is. I don't know what it is. This is. This right here is Dutch Bros. Like, I heard it's good. Uh, a lot of people come here from work. They're saying it's so, better than Starbucks, y'all. So, I mean, Jose's gonna try it. And we'll let you know what he thinks in a little bit. Yeah, because I've never seen it, but see, it's JR. This is what it looks like, y'all. Dutch Bros. Never seen it, never heard of it. The menu's right here. We're about to see what I order. I'll let y'all know. I'm about to try something out. So, we'll see. A cold coffee to get something going. We'll see what's up. But I'll let y'all know in a bit what I get. They're building another one by JR's house, so JR's gonna be like, yes! Coffee in the morning. Man, for a young girl, she got a nice ride, bro. Look at that ride. That's a nice ride. Whip. Shit. She driving like a BMW, isn't that? What well, kind of holiday flavors? What is it? Hazelnut truffle mocha. Ooh. Sugar and spice oat milk latte. Candy cane freeze. Ooh. That's all good. <laughs> what would y'all go for? Hmm. There's Dutch cocoa. Is it cold though? Uh, I want a cold beverage, bro. And then there's one in salted caramel. Macchia uh, salted caramel. I love that and then shit. And the other one's uh, candy cane up on the top. I want salted caramel. That shit good. I love it. salted caramel. Oof. I wonder if they do it cold though. Oh, there's the cold brews there too. Look at that. Yeah. So I think I'm going for it. Hmm. I'm off. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, they come out and order them for you too. Oh, you ask you there. That's what's up, bro. Starbucks, take notes. Take notes. <laughs> Shit. Dude, you see the white one? Get one, Jack. Come on, man. He said, we're about to walk it off right now anyway. Come on. That peppermint shit right there. You ain't got none by your house, and you need to try this I know, that's why I wanted to try one. You got two clothes, but I got nothing there, man. As I said, when I'm on your side of town, I'll come get one. This is my old neighborhood anyway, shit. I'll let you go, nice pretty girl with the cool car. Chinga that I was all looking at me like she's gonna hit me and shit. I got a cheap car, you got the nice car, okay? Mommy and daddy paid for it, we know that. <laughs> That's what I was pretty much with the young girls. Mommy and daddy paid for that shit. How does that work when they ask them? How does that work when you tell them? When they when you ask them to work on the job, the nice car. Who paid for that? Mommy and daddy. <laughs> Oh, they made my payment. I just paid the insurance. Oh, shit, I wish man was fucking lucky shit. Nice. Mommy and daddy paid for my car payment. You cabron. They don't know what a hard work work is, man. I don't know what a day of hard work is. Having mommy and daddy pay for shit. Man, fuck that. Must be nice. Be like, must be nice. Shit, remember mommy and daddy used to pay for shit for us? They like that. My parents didn't even, our parents didn't even let, let us pay shit for us. You want it? Go get work for it. They told us right. They told us. Like, I had to cut grass or something. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Chores for that yeah. shit. Yeah, all the time. I remember. My mom too, bro. My mom was like, you want something? Yeah. You go do chores. I'm like, what do you mean do chores? I said, clean the restroom. Mop us the house. You want new shoes? Go do that. You want new gear? It was like, the fuck? I was like, damn. I mean, it taught you, but to realize people, well, young kids nowadays, the uh, young generation, they don't realize, bro, it actually does teach you responsibility, man, because you know, back in the day, it was like, you know, it wasn't, back in the day, it wasn't like, you know. Oh, she has a Honda Accord. That's a Honda Accord. That's a nice Honda, shit. I gotta lie. I thought it was a BMW, shit. Mm -hmm. I was like, she ride it, she ride it big, man. But you know, mom and daddy probably paid for it anyway. I like the little spoiler on the back though, that should go hard. The wifey. <laughs> Where are you, Jared? I'm with Jose. What are you doing? We're playing hide and go see. I 
see why they're always busy. They got some good deals, bro. Shit. Hey, how you doing? It's my first time here, oh, to be welcome. honest. Okay. Yeah, he always course. tells me about it because he always comes here. He lives yeah. like here. I'm on the other side of town. What would you recommend that's actually pretty good? Yeah. I, want, I, like, I want something cold, but I like salty and sweet. Do you like coffee or non-coffee? I like coffee. Coffee, for sure. I would probably go our uh, caramel pumpkin brulee freeze. It's a blended uh, salted caramel and pumpkin like um, Go for it. Coffee. The biggest one you got, biggest one you got. Go for it. Oh, okay. okay. I was like, okay. Like oh, okay, I'm on. <laughs> what else can I get for you guys? That's it, that's it. Okay, that's that. No worries. 882, and then is it cash or card? Card. Amazing. What side of town are you on? We just opened like a bunch of new I shops. I live in Alamo Ranch. Alamo Ranch? We have one right off, really? right off Culebra. I didn't even notice. Yeah, right awesome. off Shanefield. Oh, okay. Um, oh, Shanefield. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. On the other side. So like, you, if you're like coming down 604, mm. like past this way, yeah. it's right there. Yeah, oh, I got two. Kind of fun. Got two. He's got two. You got this one, that one. Y'all building yeah. right down the street. So right, I was like, I yeah. I know. I'm so excited for that one. Opening day is supposed to be Friday. Friday? Friday. It looks like and I work at HEV too. Yeah, <laughs> fine. Damn. Break time. Break okay. Time. Were you getting a drink as well, sir? No, no, no. Okay. I'm good. No worries. Well, y'all be safe. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Nice lady. She, she's right. This is the biggest one. $8 is not bad, it's pretty cheap, bro. It's looking cheaper than Starbucks. Starbucks, you know how much for a big, biggest one they got there? Like 10 bucks, 11, 12, bro. For fucking one, $8 is not bad. Uh, Starbucks, you lose me a customer if this shit is good. <laughs> and it's nicer, and the windows down so they can't hear me. <laughs> what is that one? Honey Jolly Rebel. What's up, that shit? It's an energy drink. No shit, that shit looks too damn green, bro. And they have lemonades and teas and energy drinks. And that's the reason why they're beating Starbucks' is ass. It's affordable, cheaper, and they got more shit to choose from compared to fucking just coffee all day. Yeah. Energy drinks, bro. Lemonade, are you serious? I'm telling you, dog, it's affordable? Hell yeah. I want to buy some more shit. I'm like, can I get a, <laughs> can I get an energy drink and a pinche, um, como se dice, a la, la, de la, la cafe, la, the lemonade, también, please. Right back with you guys. Hold on. All right, Sting Squad. It's your boy, Jay Sting Squad. Here is the Dutch Bros drink. I'm about to go down and let's get it in the first time. Check it out. So let's see. Damn, she wasn't lying, bro. That's off the chain. That's on point, bro. That is good. Fucking delicious. All right. Where are we gonna go walk walk to? I don't know. Shit, everything's closed. It's Sunday. Nah, it's gotta be some Walmart. What's open right now? Lights. No, no, Walmart. What else is open? Nothing. Everything else is closed. It's Chingadera, really? Something gotta be open, bro. Nothing's open. It's Sunday, bro. Everything closes at six on Sunday. Um. Uh, how about the Canem? Where were you gonna get Peach and Lucy's? Oh, shit, I don't know. What neighborhoods have Lucy's right now? Brian's? I don't know. Ours where? I don't know. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> this shit fucking bomb. I'm gonna be up all damn night. I ain't gonna sleep. Watch. Like I said, they have lemonades and energy drinks. You don't just need coffee. Fuck coffee, bro. I'm gonna have to work this bitch off. I'm telling you, bro. I'm being a fatty day. She was not lying. This shit's eight bucks for this big ass motherfucker. I'd be up a bitch all day that day with this. Whew. And now they're gonna put one right there 
about work, I'm gonna be like, hell yeah. <laughs> give me lemonades in the summer, fucking coffees when it's cold. Never. That's my, I'm, I'm fucking gonna go tell on this bitch. Fuck that, bro. Starbucks and H uh, McDonald's lost me as a customer. Yeah, they got for eight dollars, and this shit was good, bro. Damn. Dunkin' Donuts lost my ass too. Shit. Fuck that. usually have this much sugar but damn it's a lot of fucking sugar that's why it's only once in a while it's good not all the time but after this a whole next week next two weeks i ain't gonna eat no sugar you can come and get a lemonade they got sugar free or you can use What's the best, y'all, for the Switch? If y'all have a Switch, let me know. Come at the bottom. Keep it real with your boy. JR's trying his best. Do his thing for his son. I respect that. That's the one I got him. Which one, bro? You got him down right there? It comes with the screen and everything. That's a three. How much was that one? Huh? Dang. Dang. See, that was wasn't playing. That's why he's in that overtime. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> How much you getting overtime for? I gotta work an extra day. Gotta work an extra day. Pay off the the, the switch. That's a budget. Damn, does that game that game come with it? That one? Yeah, you can get it. I'm gonna go to your house, Jerry. I'm gonna get a workout playing with your son. <laughs> We're gonna play some volleyball, bowling, and be like, go, oh, four. How much are the controllers? Huh? How much are the controllers? It depends on which one you get. But they're right here. They're like 50 bucks. I'm gonna buy one and go play with him. <laughs> I'm gonna buy myself one and go play with him. I don't know what that's. That's just funny, bro. Netflix, what? What is this? Netflix? Dude, I so want to Which one? Which one? You liked it? I've never seen it. It sucks, bro. Don't waste your money, cabron. I've never seen it. Bro. Don't waste your money. Don't waste. This is more better than that shit. This one's more better than that shit. Hell no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The bullet train was actually good, but I enjoyed that. The bullet train was damn fun, and this one's old ass. I, Tom Cruise I, I, thinking yeah, he's. It's basically like, it's, it's funny, like, do you remember the first movie? Well, here's, here's the, the first here's one. The, here's the facts yeah. of the yeah. first movie. Yeah. I saw the Second one, one, hell no. Bullet train actually had like one of the one with the I think bullet train was the most badass villain that he's ever had. He's like yeah. rotating a guy with like, a revolver on his hand, all, like all fires yeah. happening. I'm like, I think it was better. This one, Tom Cruise trying to be young when he not. <laughs> you were hey, Tom Cruise. Remember when he worked it? I know. Yeah. Tom Cruise, you're a little grandpa Let's now. Let's stop it, Tom Cruise. You ain't all that no more. Old man. Old man here. I'm glad I'm not being mad. Yeah, we we're sold out. What? Can't yeah, be sold out. <laughs> What's up? Oh, uh, no, I thought it was the tree. I remember I saw the lights. We saw the Baby Yoda for your son. He liked Baby Yoda. I wanted to get him that that, uh, that one by the, by the, by my house. They had that one there by my house, the Baby Yoda. Oh, my stomach. Ugh. Oh, this is soft. I was about to run this bitch, too. Some soft football. Can't get nowhere with that. Ooh, medicine ball. Damn, that's a 20 pound. This one's heavier than one in the gym I use, bro. It's a good workout right here. I'm gonna be over there with that. I don't know how to look. 
I'm going to buy that bitch. I'm not playing. That's no toy. That's a real gun. Ooh. That's a toy. I wonder how much that bitch though it is. Boo. There it is. Yeah, it's $5. Get on the fucking cart. Just step right there on the edge of the cart. Okay, we'll move the camera because I don't want to drop that shit. You can't feel me getting it. Ugh. Ooh, there's two of them, though. They're the same ones, though. They're the same? Yeah. Why come this one look bigger? They're the same. Get this one. Get my sister to wrap it for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my Alright. Thank you, Jar. I'm gonna get one of those. For my brother's gun that I got too. Shit. Ooh, what are these? Hey, how much is this? Six bucks? I can put my BBs in there. Yeah. They had them all out here last year. And the other store I went to, they had it too. But here they did it. These collector's edition, bro. Number low one and two. You don't have these, something wrong with you. All right, sorry about that. She gave me awful, she said no. I said, I'll come. <laughs> she passed, she did. <laughs> when I said she did, she gave me awful, she said no. I said, I'll come around, she looks at me and laughs. <laughs> I'm not coffee. I'm not coffee. I got a lot of sugar right now. I don't have sugar like this all the time. So. Right now, I'm like, hey, yeah. My stomach. I'm gonna have more later on, too. Porque I eat a lot. Y'all are laughing at me, too, right? Huh? They're like, fuck him, Jason. He's an idiot. Look at him right now. I love it, I love it. And I wish it was $5, but it's gonna be 29. 43. Where my wife? I'm a bad boy. I'm on a. I'm on a. Oi, cabrón. Shit, I should have got a medium. A small one, and I'm a. Give me the biggest one. I said, give me the biggest one you got. I think I left them in the car, Jerry. I'm just playing. <laughs> He's like, again? Damn it, Jose. Oops, Jerry. We're at the walk home. I left the keys in the car again. <laughs> And I say again because he's done it before. Tell him about the story, JR. Tell him. Tell him. It was me, Rick. Slick Ricky. And Jose. Slick Ricky, Ricardo. Ate at the Olive Garden. We, oh, yeah. That was a good night, too. And we go eat. And then we're about to leave. And he's looking for his keys all in the restaurant. He goes outside while me and Rick stay inside. He comes back. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, what's up? We go back outside, and your fucking keys are laying right on the seat. On the passenger seat where Ricky was sitting? <laughs> yeah. And then we had to go, we had to get his brother-in-law. Come on, brother, come give me the spare. Give him the spare. Well, actually, no, fucking drive me to the house to get the drive spare. Drive the house. And all the way back. And then back. And then we finally got the car rolling. And then we went out to where else we got afterwards? <laughs> to Rick's house and shit. Yeah, I did so. Yeah, afterwards, fucking. 
That was a crazy night, though. Yeah, we didn't get home until almost like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yep. All because of Jay's sneaker squad left his kit in the car. I was, ah, oh, cabrón, mira. And I told Jay, and I told Jay, I Rick, that I needed a night out with my boys so we can get my mind off of the shit I was going through. So then Jay, I said, fuck it. Let's go. I said, all right, Rick. Well, you ready? You down? He said, yeah, let's go. And what do we do? We go to Olive Garden. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do? And we make it a guy's night out. Yeah. And we have fun. Basically, yeah, but we locked the keys in the car. I did. Oh, Jose did. <laughs> I, I did. And then to see Rick fucking Jose. <laughs> I was like, what? He's uh, look what you did, Babalu. I said, I know, my bad. He said, cabron. Yeah, he said, basically. That was that was pretty funny. Ricky Ricardo was mad. I said, Baba Lou. And this, I think this was like last winter, so it was cold as fuck. Yeah, because I remember we, no, it just hit winter. It was just hitting October last year. Just hit October last year. Was it October? Year. I thought it was Christmas around Christmas time. No, too. no, it was just, it, it was October. Okay, you see, but it just hit October last year, that year when we did it, bro. It just hit October. And then um, I remember too, because Rick was wearing fucking shorts still at that time. I don't know, bro. It, was fucking it just, it just freaking hit October that, that, that night. And then Rick was like, uh, Rick was wearing some shorts. I and mean, you were the only one wearing pants. Uh, yeah, I was wearing pants. I mean, you were wearing pants, and then he was the only one wearing shorts. And that's what uh, he told me too at the time. He's like, bro, look what, <laughs> he's like, bro, look what happened. Next thing you know, I'm, um, uh, uh, and he goes, it's cold on saying you like the damn kids in the car. I was like, my bad, bro. So, <laughs> yeah. That was so funny. I, and the reason why I remember too, because remember, I, I was still in my boot. I had broken my foot, remember? Yeah, you were still I was still in my boot, and I, took, I always took my boot off to drive. And I remember I took it off and Rick was like, well, hurry up, put your foot on so we can go eat. And when I went and put on my boot, I come back and this, I left, I remember I left the keys left right. the keys on the seat. seat. Yeah. And then Rick was all like, what the fuck? Rick was all pissed off, I remember he was. He was like, you think you got a nice brother? Because I feel me, I would have left your fucking ass out here. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I said, damn, Rick. He's like, yeah, bro, I would have left your ass there. I was like, he's like, fuck that shit. Yeah, his dad wasn't too happy about that. No, my dad was out of town. I was my, my brother wasn't happy. Uh, Remember, he charged me fucking like 30 bucks for gas to fucking come pick us up that day. I was like, damn. I said, well, damn. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. That, that was pretty funny too. That was a fun night though. After we fucking got the, car, the keys yeah, back. Yeah, we got the keys back. We went out and had fun. It was still the rest of the night. But the, the, what ruined the night, because it was the first thing we did. We went to go eat, and thereafter, then we were fucking. Uh, yeah. That shit sucked. We shot, a, I think we shot a video that day too. We shot a YouTube video. We, so. And then yeah, I was we shot a YouTube video. We shot the one with Rick. Remember when Rick uh, the the, the, Babe, the Babe Ruth one? Yeah. We should be, we shot the Babe Ruth video with Rick and me and you, Rick. And then we did a sports talk video. And then after that, that's when we went to go eat. And right after we ate, that's when I when I left the keys in the car. And we're all mad. And then, and after that, that's when we still went to Rick's house afterwards and chilled there for a little bit. And Rick was fucking gone that night. Now he was already smoking that night. That's why he was already pissed off. I was like, fucking with my high, Jose. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, my bad, dog, my bad. He's like, you like the keys in the car? Now I'm pissed. He's like, See, here comes the new Dutch Bros right by H-E-B. We just passed H-E-B. Dutch Bros is coming up the street, I think. It's the best, bitch. Let me get the lane. Uh, it's right here. Right here, the new one. That's the new one, right there. It opens up Friday, people, and a place near you. And sabes que, I'm gonna be here. <laughs> me and JR. Maybe I'll probably get something sugar free next time. But I tried to get a lemonade. <laughs> next time I'm gonna get something sugar free size so cap okay. Uh, right now I feel like I'm gonna give birth to twins. Twins. How long are you waiting for that? A long time, since last year. <laughs> Damn. Yeah bro, because I bought the online and shit, I bought the, the kit with it. I bought the kit first because the kit was only like what four dollars. And what the fuck? So I got so mad because they were sold out last year. I was looking for it, looking for it, couldn't ever find it. And so finally fucking now, right now, I was like, you know what, this year, I'm gonna get it this year. I'm gonna get it, damn. And I'm happy now. What? I should've bought some headphones, because the ones I had left in the gym, bro. You left them in the gym? In the gym, and they jacked them, bro. I left the, my, 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 my Bose, my Bose headphones. I was in the gym working out, and I took them off, and I put them in the case, because it was already dying. And I left them right there on the, on the damn uh, treadmill. I went to take a piss, I came back, and I was grabbing my shit to leave. But I didn't think about it. You know, you don't think about it when you're just grabbing your shit and go because you want to get the hell out and go home. Yeah. And I was trying to hurry up and get home to make my food. And I got out and I fucking, I left them right on the treadmill, bro. I was so pissed off. Because once you close the door, because that's the thing with our gym. 
it, at night it has a it locks it, you, you, it's, if you're in there you can stay as, as late as you want so he said once you close the door with the sensor it automatically locks the door you can't open that shit back up yeah so with the sensor when i close the door and i leave it locks but it locks and it closes everything up so when i like to close everything up i'm fucking i couldn't go back in and get them and i wanted to and and if I go back in there, it's going to be like breaking in. So I can't do that because then the cops will come. So I just had to, I lost them. That's out. I know. So I need new headphones working out. I'm going to probably go buy them tomorrow or something. Tell Brian to get you some cheap ones for five below. That's what I'm thinking about. That way if you lose them, it won't bother you. That's why. So it cost me, it won't cost me that much. Just, I'm, I'm going to buy a cheap one at five below and use those. Right here, I'm going to buy that. But thanks, brother, for yes, chilling with me and hanging out with me and helping me out, brother. I'll call you when I get home. I'll text you when I get home. All right, cool. I'll tell mom and everybody say hi. I love them, bro. All right. I'll hit you up uh, Wednesday for let me for sure. Let me know if we can do this and get it. I'll pick you up. All right. All right, Jay Snake Squad. I'm heading home. Calling it a night. Oof. Let me call my brother.